Hello. Today I want to talk about pressure. Not the pressure that you feel when you're playing golf, but the pressure you apply to the golf ball at the moment of impact and how you can increase that pressure. If you're interested in getting a little bit more speed on the ball, come back in just a moment I'll show you how. Hello, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about the pressure that we apply to a golf ball at the moment of impact. Pressure is one of the things which will help you to increase ball speed. Uh, ball speed is basically the um, result of the impact with the golf club. So the faster the golf club is moving, obviously the faster the ball will move, but the energy transfer between the club and the ball um, is uh, responsible for ball speed and usually they'll talk about something we call smash factor. The smash factor is basically created usually just by hitting the center of the golf club and the more you get the ball in front of the center of gravity of the golf club the better the smash factor will be. But you can also change the smash factor by changing the loft of the golf club and the less loft that you have on the golf club in impact the greater the smash factor will be. Uh, most of the time, if you're not changing your club to do that, you want to be working on getting what we call uh, lean in impact, which means you're de-lofting the golf club. And you'll do that primarily by making sure that you have your hands ahead of the golf ball at impact. And to a certain extent, that will also have a lot to do with the pressure that you can apply to the golf ball, but not solely. Getting pressure on the golf ball means really using the forces of your body, arms and hands against the shaft and through the shaft against the golf ball. In order to give you an idea of what that should feel, should feel like, um, there's a good exercise which Bertie Cordell from DST Golf actually showed me. Um, if you take the address position uh, with an impact bag, and then go into the impact position that you would like. You can see in the impact position here that I um, have a force working on the shaft. I don't know if you can see the shaft actually bending there. Obviously, the impact bag won't let me move the club forward because I've got a good heavy impact bag here. And what Birdie showed us is that if you open your hands here, you can feel the pressure you're applying to the club a lot easier. Usually with your hands together, it really feels more like your right arm and right side is doing all the work. But in truth, if you actually open your hands, splay the fingers of your hands, you will feel that you have equal and opposite opposing forces on the golf club. The golf club is actually trying to rotate and release around a position between both hands. And in impact, basically the uh, top of your forefinger is pressing hard towards the target and the ball of your left hand is pressing away from the target. And by pressing really hard against the bag, I can actually feel how my right side, shoulder, hip and leg are helping the right arm and hand push towards the target, whereas my left side is pressing backwards away from the target and helping the left side to resist. Now it's very important when you're doing this to actually understand that in order for the golf club to move correctly, it's moving around an axis and this axis is more or less between your hands. So actually to get the club head to move forward, you're applying an equal amount of pressure to the top of the golf club away from the target. And we talked about this in a little bit more detail last year when I was talking about the release and the hand path. And I'll put a link to the video up here. But when you're trying to improve the pressure that you're getting on the golf club, then there's a, a couple of good ways of doing it. And it all starts really with the amount of hip rotation you can achieve. If you take your address position and without turning your hips or your shoulders, simply try and press the club forward, you'll see an awful lot of this going on. 
if you open your hands and try and oppose the forces, so the left arm pressing as much as the right arm, you'll then feel you're getting pressure on the bag. Now, this pressure reaches a point where your arms simply can't press any harder. So there is a, an infinite, or, or not an infinite, but a, a, a finite amount of energy you can apply to the golf club. You can increase this energy, however, by rotating your hips as far as they will go and then doing the same thing. By doing that, you'll actually find that it will pull your shoulders around as well. And, and when you try and move forward, your shoulders and your upper body can use the tension in the lower body and the stability in the lower body to apply even more force to the golf club. So when I'm now holding the golf club, my hands no longer want to kind of move in this direction, but I have the feeling almost my left one is pulling the club back here and my right one is pushing the club forward. And this is applying a good deal of force to the golf club and indirectly to the golf ball. Now, unfortunately in life, not all people are created equal. And the older we get, the less mobility we have in our body. Fortunately, this doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the pressure you can apply to the golf ball. Even if you only have 15 degrees of rotation in your hips, you're still going to be able to apply more pressure to the golf ball if you have used all those 15 degrees and then make impact with the golf ball, rather than still being parallel, parallel in your hips position when you actually get into contact with it. So it's not just going to help you to get your hands ahead or at least opposite the golf ball, you will also be able to apply more force to the golf ball because you can get more pressure onto the golf club. When you actually start practicing this, obviously it's also very important to get the timing right. At what point am I actually getting the hip into its furthest position? And I find again the impact bag very, bag very useful for this. Now I'm not trying to bash the thing 30, 40 meters. On the contrary, I will start with just short swings where I'm really kind of trying to use those sheer forces, pressing the left foot down and forward to get that left hip back and resisting with the right foot so that I create rotation in my hips. And you can see here, there isn't any more hip rotation possible. I'm trying to get that to happen before I get into the impact position. So I'm making short swings to start off with and trying to get the feeling of it kind of going into full rotation and then coming against the golf bag or the impact bag. And the further I go back, so the more difficult it is to time this impact position. What you'll also see is that I'll get a little bit of this kind of move feeling going on because by getting more pressure on my feet, by going down into my knees, I am able to use more actual leg action to get my hip out of the way. So this kind of left hip is really kind of getting pushed back by the forces that I'm applying with my left leg and getting it out of the way so that my right hip and my right side can apply forward pressure to the golf club, whereas my left side and my left hip is applying a reverse pressure to the golf club and that's what's basically giving me this flex and bow in the shaft. This is a great time of year to work on things like this and you'll be surprised how you can improve the ball speed simply by getting more pressure on the club and therefore more smash on the ball. We're not all necessarily going to be hitting the golf ball further because we're getting faster from year to year, but making the, the impact parameters better, getting more things right at the moment of impact will definitely help you to at least get back to where you were a couple of years ago and the distance you hit in a golf ball. As ever, if you've enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, then please do so. I've got a new copy of my 2019 philosophy. It's now available online to download if you want some evening reading. And until I'm back next time, look after yourselves, get out on that drive range and hit some balls, irrespective of the weather. Bye-bye now.